Hello. Today we're going to briefly discuss adding risks and issues to your projects in Project Online. I'm already logged into my Project Online environment and I'm actually in Project Center where you can see all the projects within the environment. You can actually see a couple of projects here already have risks and issues. You can see the indicators here. If you hover over them, you can actually see the pop-up dialog box. What we're going to do is add a couple more uh, risks and issues. We'll go ahead and add them to the apparel ERP upgrade. I'll click directly on the project name. That will open the project. And what I want to do is actually go to the project site here. And I'll just go ahead and click right here. And uh, there's the project site indicator. We'll click on that. And this will take me to the project site. Take just a moment to get there. And here we are. Parallel ERP upgrade. Along the nav navigation, you're going to see all the different capabilities within this project site you have access to. We have a OneNote notebook here. Take notes during project team meetings. Uh, documents we can store team calendar, and then of course, deliverables, risks and issues, risks, uh, Microsoft terminology, something that can have the possibility to occur that may affect your project either positively or negatively risk. Uh, we're just gonna put a, uh, a title here, uh, maybe vendor may not be ready in time. You know, I'm really, not going to be worried about all the information here. We'll go ahead and you can see I, I, I type in part of the information and it, it finds the users here for the owner and the assigned to. Status and category, these are, are just metadata items that are filled in for you by default. Uh, as a customer, you can change the values that are here so they can become more meaningful. Due date, values you can fill in. Probability of this risk item occurring, impact, cost. You can provide a description of what the risk would be as well as a mitigation contingency plans and a trigger description, uh, what would be the event that would have to occur for this to actually turn into an issue. And then ultimately I can save this thing. There's my one risk item. I'm gonna create an issue as well. Uh, issue, the difference between a risk and an issue is actually a, an issue is something that's currently affecting the project. A vendor did not show up. And again, we're gonna assign it to the same person, Garth. Garth, Garth, status active. We don't have the same exact values available. Uh, the thought process here, we're already activated the mitigation or contingency plan. Therefore, I, I put in a discussion resolution if we did enact a resolution and this is uh, something that's closed, but it's currently active. Go ahead and save this. Um, now I can navigate back to Project Center and we'll go ahead and click here. And there's the parallel ERP upgrade. You notice that there's no indicators there. Uh, sometimes what's going to have to happen is you may have to publish the project. Okay. We're going to open up parallel ERP upgrade. And it's almost open. We're going to check this project out. We'll give this a quick publish here. And you can note, if you're already familiar with this, you can see the publish in the lower right corner, publish at 39%. Yeah, usually it'll, it'll get to a certain value, then it'll you know, all of a sudden go to 100%. And there you go, publish completed successfully. I'll close out project. Do I want to check it in? Yes. Go back to Project Center, refresh. And the jobs may still be processing in the queue. Oh, there we go. So there's my apparel ERP upgrade indicators for risks and issues, right? If I were to click directly on one of those indicators, it will take me right to that item in either the list that I clicked on. There's the issue. And uh, there's adding risks and issues in Project Online. Thanks for watching.